Hi there, my name is Aos or AOS, whatever works for you. I recently started playing Terra and came across a lot of things that I didn't understand. I looked up beginner's guides on YouTube and the guides that I found were one or two years old. A little outdated in my opinion, so that's why, now that I understand the game more, I have decided to make my own guide. In the guide series I will cover servers, classes and races, social, questing, combatant stamina, weapons, dungeons, avatar weapons, broker, terror shop and many more. I'm always up for adding new topics to the playlist so if there is something you would like to know more about feel free to let me know by leaving a comment. If you would like to stay updated on my newest guides be sure to click the subscribe button. I also have a live stream in which I play both Terra and League of Legends, link is in the description. Now that we're done with that, let's go to the guide. In this episode we're covering crafting. In Terra there are four types of crafting, alchemy, etching, weapon crafting and armor crafting. You can raise each crafting skill to level 500. Each character can choose to become an artisan in only one crafting profession. You can under your choice, but your crafting level in that profession will return to 500 and all artisan level recipes you learned will be lost. Alchemy is a skill that lets you make consumable items like potions and scrolls. Etching is a skill that lets you make scrolls that give temporary or permanent stats to your gear. This is the only crafting skill that requires you to be level 60. Weapon crafting is a skill that lets you make weapons. Armor crafting is a skill that lets you make armor. When crafting an item, you have to buy a design to learn how to craft that item. After you bought the design, you can consume it to learn how to craft the desired item. When you go to the crafting station, you will see the item you learned and the items required to make it. Some of these items can be bought from the broker and some can be bought from NPCs who sell crafting materials. Crafting an item will cost a certain amount of points out of a total of 4000. Some crafted items can crit. You can see in the UI if an item has a crit reward or not. When this happens, the crafted item will, for example, have better stats or last longer. You can increase crit chance by using the artisan additive. After crafting an item, you will gain levels for the skill you use. Eventually, crafting certain gear won't give you levels anymore because your level in that skill is too high. When that happens, you have to start crafting an item of a higher level. In addition to ingots and fibers, Alchemy uses its own specialized materials refined from rare versions of gathered items. Etching requires scarabs collected from all three gathering professions. Scarabs are not easily gathered so start saving them early, however, you can also buy them from the broker. Normal etching scrolls have a 3 day duration, but critical crafting creates a permanent version and better stats than the 3 day version. You'll use weapon smithing to make weapons for any of the terror classes. For physical damage classes, weapon crafting uses refined ingots from ores. Having mining as a gathering profession will be helpful for crafting these weapons. For caster and ranged classes, weapon crafting uses refined energy infused crystals from essences. Essence gathering is helpful for crafting these weapons. You'll use armor crafting to make boots, gloves, chest pieces for cloth, leather and metal armor. For heavy armor, armor smithing uses the same refined ore ingots as weapon smithing. You'll need to learn separate designs to level up your skills and ingots. For leather armor, armor smithing uses processed hides. Leather armors are the only armors not tied directly to gathering. Hides and leathers only drop from monsters you've killed. For cloth armor classes, armor smithing uses refined plant fibers to create armor. Gathering plants is helpful when crafting these armors. Flawless crafting is another way to add enchantment effects to your gear. There are many different effects when an item is flawless. The design in your crafting UI shows the bonus effects on the flawless version. Bonus recipes available from the vendor let you use your armor crafting or weapon crafting skill to improve some boss drops to flawless giving them 4 enchants instead of 3. That's all I have to say about crafting. If you have a question about crafting, feel free to ask. If you have a question about Terra that is not related to crafting, I will answer it as soon as possible if it's not covered in my next video or if it's very important. The topic I will cover in my next video is Battlegrounds. If you found this video helpful, please give the video a like and share it with your friends. If you wish to see more guides and other content that I make, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.